Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain times 4, 5, and 7. I'm going to show you this demonstration. I got this last demonstration to do, and then I have another one getting set up for this screen right here. I'll be getting rid that'll be for tomorrow. It's going to be another bit of a big eye opener for those of you using light gray screens and white screens versus a black screen. Now, keep in mind with our black technology, we have the ability to be able to pull up higher white levels. We can show a black screen versus a black screen. Very easy to do. We've done it many times. But also, two of our screens can pull up images outside on 1100 lumens. So, let me show you exactly what you are really missing from your projector. And it's kind of like, put it this way. Say if you were to go buy a projector, you go look up all the bells and whistles. You want good contrast. You want good color. You want good white levels. You want all these bells and whistles that your projector has the ability to be able to perform. So let me ask you a question. Would you buy half a projector? If you went to a store and you saw a projector of maybe... I don't know, it cost you maybe about uh, $1,500 or maybe uh, $500. Would you go to the salesperson and say, hey, look, I want this projector. And he goes, guess what? You're only going to get half of it. That's all you're going to get. You can't get the other half. You're just going to get half of the projector. That's what you're going to buy. So keep in mind, without the other half, the projector is completely useless, right? Well, that's what happens when you use a projector on a screen. Then it cannot give you the performance of what that projector can do. You're just getting half a projector. That's it. You're not getting the whole full thing. You're getting half of them. You're missing contrast. You're missing it all. Now, for those of you that would say, well, guess what? You're using an older model projector. It doesn't have a 10,001 or 12,001 contrast. That doesn't mean anything. If your screen is white or light gray, you will never see that to begin with. The minute you put those lights on, keep in mind, you have to be in the dark to use those screens. So the minute you put any kind of real ambient light on that screen, much like the same kind of ambient light you would have in your, in your, um, your house when you're using a TV, that screen will start to fade. Bright colors are going to pop up. When it comes to contrast, movies, and so forth, it's not even going to show. I can watch Star Wars with the lights on. A lot of screens can't do that, and I can do that with projectors of 1100 lumens easily. Now, keep in mind, this projector is 4,200 lumens. The reason why I chose the highest form of lumens, I think you should understand that even if you use a projector of 2,600 lumens or 3,000 lumens or 3,500 lumens, that's never going to show up on a white screen. It'll be there, but it just won't be there for you to actually be able to see it or enjoy it. At 4,200 lumens and around 14 feet back, the white screen is just not even picking up as it should. Now let me, uh, we're going to take the lights out, we're going to do a bit of a Star Wars demonstration here with the lights out. Just to give you an idea, for those of you that are going to be using this in your dedicated theater setup, and you're watching a movie that has some dark contrast scenes, this is what you're going to get, and this is at 4200 lumens. Now you see how outer space looks dark here? This is outer space. This light, shady, ashy gray, that's not outer space. I went to the movies to see this. Best thing I ever saw in my life. Okay, now I'm going to pause this right here and I'm going to go turn on some lights. Like I said, we can do Star Wars with the lights on the minute I add on one light. And that's right there in that corner. Just one light. That's it. That screen automatically is going to start to fade. That's why I can never understand. You know, when I went to Disney World, 
Um, and I went to this exhibit. They had all these great big, huge white projection screens. They're massive white projection screens. And uh, the picture quality was horrible. And I was wondering what kind of projectors are we using? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I think they're called barcode or something. Like that's what the projectors call. But those are extremely expensive projectors. I mean, these things are huge. They're like movie theater projectors, but they're very expensive. And I just couldn't understand why in the world would you cheat the projector's performance by sticking it on a white screen or even a light gray screen? Now, if you were to watch Star Wars on your TV, guess what? You can do it in a fully lit environment. Let me know anytime you turn on your TV that you have to turn on all the lights in your environment, shut your windows, and be in a complete dark environment because you're afraid your, your TV is going to wash out. Let me know anytime you ever heard anybody say that. I got to be in the dark because if I watch anything with lights on, my TV is going to wash out. That is unheard of. It's actually the most funniest comment ever. So if that's the case and you're going to be replacing your TV with a projection screen, so why can't you watch TV? Why can't you watch dark contrast movies in a well-lit environment? Well, the screen washing out. Come over here real quick. We're going to do a sharp demonstration, show you some nice sky blues. Like I said, contrast is everything. Those of you who are old enough to remember back in the day when TVs had that round tube. I don't go that far back, but I mean, when I was coming up, TVs had the clicker, that click, 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 and had the rabbit antennas on the back of it. And the tube was great. It was a great tube. You know what I mean? And now TVs today have LCD and the tubes on, on this uh, LCD is not tubes, but the LCDs are black. It's the reason why they're black. Because it gives the screen to be able to pull up beautiful contrast, colors pop better, more depth to the, to the picture. And that's what you want. Now this is also too a wake up call for business out, uh, businesses out there. And I see a lot of businesses, especially people are, that are still using a white projection screen for out there home theater setups, inflatable screens. I don't know why, because I'm going to tell you something. I know from the door from looking at this, I don't care if you're using 4200 4, or 5000 lumens, 10,000 lumens, it doesn't make a difference. You will never ever get the uh, performance rate of your projector. You will never get 100%. You won't even get 60, you won't even get 50, you're lucky if you get 30. If you think the image that you're seeing, it looks fine to me, it doesn't, trust me. It really doesn't. White screens do not have the ability to pull contrast. Now can you imagine you having a white screen outside and it looks like a plasma TV? Look how much you're missing from that. That is a lot of picture quality that you're losing. Let me see if I can find. I always lose it in here, somewhere around here, somewhere. I always lose my, I have a piece of a, a gray screen. Just to show you, I'm gonna walk around this. Just to show you, walk around to show you I'm getting. Now keep in mind, the reason why 4200 lumen on a white screen looks like whitewash, I'll tell you why. Like I said, it's the same equivalence. Those of you, and you know, some of y'all have, I've known people that some people have never been around snow before. But if you walk out in snow, right? When, when the sun is coming up and it's bright outside, and you walk out there without sunglasses, you get something called snow blind. So much white light reflecting off the snow. Literally, it's like you're going blind, like you can't really see anything. So you put sunglasses on to be able to adjust the light, adjust the, um, how much light your, um, your eyes are taking in to allow you to be able to see and focus better. That's what black technology does. But you take a, the more higher the lumens that you hit a white screen with, the brighter the image is going to come off. And that means you're going to deal with a screen starting to wash out because it just has no contrast. That's why the picture looks like this. So I can get right up on top of it and you'll see 
doesn't make a difference. Now keep in mind, I'm using a projector of 4,200 lumens. If I use a projector of 26 or 3,000 or 1,100 lumens, that picture's not even going to be there. All right, so I can't find my piece of gray. I had a piece of gray in here somewhere. I'll find my piece of gray. I'm going to set you down just for a minute. I put it in here somewhere. My shop is always crazy. I don't think I stuck it in the back. I don't know where I put it, but I got it here somewhere. It's here somewhere. We may. Nope, can't find it. And it's funny because later on, after the demonstration is over, it'll pop up somewhere. I'm like, dang, I set it right over there. I can't believe I put it over there. Let me just let this play a little bit. Maybe I can search around the shop, see exactly where I could have placed it. See if it's behind here or whatever. Look at the angle gain. Just not going to get that from a white screen. I really don't know what I did with it. Honest to goodness truth, I don't know what I did with it. I probably, knowing me, I have a bad habit, a very bad habit of taking stuff upstairs. From my other shop, I'll take it upstairs. But it doesn't make a difference. So tomorrow, the demonstration I got set up, I'm going to paint half of the screen gray, the other half white. And we'll do the demo. I'll show you another level. So it doesn't make a difference if I don't have the gray for this. This is going to be painted half white and half gray. Let's do some black contrast. Now, just in case if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Time 4 and 5. Just showing you what you're missing. Even with a projector 4200 lumens, you're just not going to be able to achieve what you want. Now, tomorrow on this screen over here, I'm going to bring down the uh, my projector I have upstairs, which is... Um, my projector I have upstairs, it's 4,000 lumens, 1080p, and it has a 12,000 to 1 contrast. As a 12,000 to 1 contrast, just to show you, even at 12,000 to 1 contrast, what you are not going to get. Now, I thought I put on some bright, beautiful colors. I like to put on bright, beautiful colors just to show you exactly, you know, it's easy to do a demonstration when you're doing contrast against a white screen because, of course, black screen's always going to have better contrast. It's going to have better contrast in gray. It's going to have better contrast in dark gray. You're going to get 100% black from a black screen. You can't get 100% black from a gray screen. It's impossible. It's like trying to squeeze water out of a stone. It's not going to happen. So this is to show you that if I do contrast course, I do a black scene like outer space versus a white screen, the black screen is always going to win. But I like to do light, bright demonstrations like flowers and roses and stuff like that, fields and meadows, so you can see exactly what you're really getting. You know what I mean? See how, how high the white levels are on our technology. But you're not going to get like dark and dirty whites. That's something you're not going to have to worry about. back here and share for my projectors and that's why I have the tape down the middle just to show you that when you buy a projector your screen is the only thing that's going to make your projector look good that's it spend all your money on your home theater set I think people spend a ton of money home theater setups speakers the curtains the you know light up floors everything and they'll have a white screen in there or a light silver screen sitting in there and I'm like why why even with the lights out you're still not getting it now you've seen in that Star Wars demonstration I just showed you. You 
even in that Star Wars demonstration I just showed you that with the lights out you're not getting what you think you're getting you're getting an ashy gray image that's what you're getting now the background for this demonstration is black flowers blooming the background is black white screen can't pick it up It's bugging the daylight to me that I can't pick it exactly what I did with that gray sheet. I had it here. I tell you, watch. When the video's over, it's probably somewhere in the most strangest spot ever I could possibly think of. That's where it's probably sitting at right now. And I can't figure out what I did with it. I just had it a few minutes ago. I was just doing a demonstration off of it. I just had it a few minutes ago. I'm really curious where I stuck it in. Really curious where I stuck that screen at. I don't know where I put it. At. Let's go upstairs a minute. This is bugging me. Cause I got a funny feeling I carried it about the house. <sighs> yes, this is my messy area. Nope, didn't carry it about the house. I lost it somewhere in the shop. It's crazy. I had it on me. I don't really remember what I did with it. Oh well. I'll figure it out later on in the day what I did with it. It's probably somewhere really weird. Because I got a bad habit of shoving things behind stuff. I really do. Very bad habit of shoving stuff behind stuff. Let's pull up. I'm just gonna set this here just for a minute. It's bucking the daylight to me. I just had it, literally, I just had it in my hand. A few minutes ago, I had this in my hand, and I was just about to do a demonstration for the day, and I was like, okay, I'll use those since I just got finished shoes in it. And now, literally cannot find it. Anywhere in the shop, I can't find it. Don't know where I stuck it at. I gotta get in here and clean some of this stuff out in the shop. That's what I need to do. Maybe I'll find stuff a lot better if I'm just cleaning up in here a little bit more. Yeah, I do apologize for that. I just can't figure out what to do with it. I just, I had it. I literally had it in my hand. Can't find it. Oh well. I'll figure it out where it's at. It's probably stuck in some vortex somewhere. Who knows where it's at? I'll figure it out. Chances are, knowing me, I took it upstairs with me. That's a bad habit I have. I do that sometimes when I'm wearing a face mask for work. I'll basically carry the face mask with me everywhere around the house. And then I'll go downstairs in the shop and can't find it and go, what did I do with it? What in the world did I do with it? Can't find it. Looking through the entire shop trying to find it. It's upstairs sitting on my desk in my office. In fact, let's do this video right here. Let me show you some brighter levels. But I'll figure out exactly what to do with it. And I'm curious, like, where did I, I just had this literally in my hand. About, about, about 30 minutes ago, I had it in my hand. What did I do with it? I think it's in the office, I really do. But anyway, uh, really quick, let's get back to the video real quick, because I'm wandering off, just, just bugging me, because I can't find this, this piece of gray I had. But anyway, it doesn't make a difference. Like I said, tomorrow we're gonna do the half and half. I'm going to come in here 
I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to paint half of this screen uh, gray, one half white. And then I got this uh, sample sheet, well actually large square uh, um, um, piece of plastic, which I'm going to coat using the, um, the, uh, the Illuminous. Uh, sorry, it's Supreme. We're going to use the Supreme uh, 7 roll-on. And that's going to be an interesting demonstration for tomorrow. So like I said, either way, uh, we're going to be able to do uh, something very interesting with one side gray and one side uh, using... Um, one side gray and one side using... Um, uh, can't think of the word for it. Sorry, one side gray and one side using white. Sorry about that, I was lost for words. All right, gotta go, battery's dying. Thank you all for your time. Gotta go and God bless. Check out the screen paint, it's amazing. All right.